I got the best idea ever. Let's watch this. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hope you like that stupid ass intro. Yeah, sorry. Um, Corey here got after effects, I just, and we were just, we just wanted to play around with it. I, I can promise you, though, next time we do it, we're, we won't undersell it as much as yeah, we Yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of try better. Yeah. But anyway, um, Sinister. Sinister. We saw it uh, a couple days back mm. for the we, Night the Premier. Night and it was pretty decent. And now we're just going to give you a quick review and our thoughts on it. Yeah. Um, we got kind of pro and cons, but there's more pros, less cons. So that's a good thing. Very good. So, uh, basically, it's Ethan Hawke. He just moves into a new home, and he's uh, he writes movie like books about crimes, and kind of tries to solve them. And uh -huh. he kind of gives gets a really bad welcome because a cop, the sheriff, comes in town and says, "I don't like you. You give cops a bad name." And it's pretty much that, like I guess, one of his more famous books, "Put Cops Under Fire." Kind of saying that they weren't doing their job and there's stuff they looked over that they shouldn't have, and just giving accidentally putting cops in a bad light, pretty much, which will sometimes happen. Yeah, and so basically, Ethan Hawke moves in and then he goes in the attic and finds this box of super eights, mm -hmm. and he watches them and sees some pretty fucked up shit. Yeah, and we're gonna get to that in a second. So. That's the basic synopsis and crazy shit happens when he watches them. The Super That's eight. about all we'll say. That's about all we're we'll gonna say. Um, movie was really good. The production value was excellent when it came to the Super Eight. But I think those were the best part in the entire movie. Because the I would say too, especially because um, the whole movie puts itself on the fact that on these Super Eight stuff, there's supposed to be some pretty, just really gruesome things and good. God, like I could still think about it now. There's some, there's some really gruesome stuff on there. Like I don't know about you. Yeah. Like, there's like there was a couple of them where I was just like, oh, oh god. god. Like, yeah. like the beginning shot. Like the fuck. Yeah, the very intro of the movie is one of the eight film, uh, one of the little eight millimeter films. I won't tell you what. We, I don't want to say which one because I want that surprise for you. But huh, <laughs> huh. Wait a What a way to movie. open up the movie. Like, Honestly, this really? we, we were sitting there, we were just looking at each other, we were just like, holy fuck. Alright, well, way to start. start. <laughs> so that's one good pro, we actually didn't write down here on the little notepad we were looking at. But, had a really just, boom, straight to the point as soon as it started. Like, it, once it cuts on and clicks, and it literally during the that opening scene, I don't think anybody in the theater said anything. No, it was just... Nobody big. could say anything. You can, like, drop a pin in here. Yeah. Like, it was that... Nope. And that was cool. That was actually a cool thing. Usually I hate going to see horror movies in theaters. This is just for me. Yeah. If I have really bad experiences, people just not shut the fuck up when I'm trying to watch a goddamn movie. But there are a lot of times in this movie that it was doing its job. It was. I think it was really keeping people on the edge of their seat, man. Because like, there was a lot of times, I swear, like you just said, you could you could drop a pin in the theater and hear it. It just really seemed like it kept people on the edge. And, and made people scream. Yeah, that's true. Him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But um, the production was good. The characters you actually care about. <laughs> yeah, actually... especially Ethan Hawke's character, because there is that one point. I guess they try to write him off that he's really living in the shadow of his last like really good book, which I mean happens to some authors. You know, it's, I can't name off any on top of my head that I know of right away, but anybody knows. Sometimes authors have a really big hit, and then they just kind of, and that's how Ethan Hawke's character is in this movie. And it's almost like he wants to relive what he had already had that famous thing for with his last book, and you actually feel for him, honestly. That's the way I like to put it. You feel for him. So it's just, the character development in the movie is just really good. I actually enjoyed it. thought it was well put out. Yeah. Um, the ending... Is another thing I liked, but a lot of people may not like. A it. lot of people will probably say if you look up different reviews for this, they will probably say they didn't like the ending. I kind of did. I was surprised. The ending yeah. kind of surprised me. I thought it was gonna go a different way because I don't want to say anything. I thought it was gonna go a different way, but mm -mm. 
It went not at all. It went all the way. Not at that all. Way. <laughs> and even then, after it was really getting to wrap up, it. You know, honestly, I think I'm just gonna say it was a good ending. I like liked the it. ending was actually believable, and you're just like, once it's done, well, you're that like, movie's done, and you can see the credits rolling. You're, you're, I don't know about you, but I was satisfied. Me too. Um, I thought it was the trailer. If you ever see the trailer. It gives away too much, so if you... So honestly, if you're hearing about this movie from people and you haven't seen the trailer, go watch the movie. Yeah. That's our good thing about it. That's the one thing we're going to hit on home on, is that if you haven't seen the trailer, go see it. The trailer gives too much. Um, another con, I would say, is it's a little slow at times. Because there's sometimes a lot of points when they're just having to ex maybe explain some stuff. And then the movie, it goes on a good roll, good roll, and then when it hits those talk things, it just kind of stops. And I kind of knew it was going to happen in this kind of movie, but it's... I, I, I kind of give it a break, but we still put yeah. it down as a con. Um, another thing I would say is a con, but it was marketed like how you you see this creature. Bagul, I guess Bagul. is his name. They, like, again, if you've seen the trailer, they literally tell you his name. And then that was another thing in the trailer. It gave you the name of the creature that he's going, like, going after or whatever. But I don't know about you, in the movie, when you finally find out, I felt like it was supposed to be a big twist, but they told you in the trailer, yeah. so it's like, I was like, well, that oh. kind of killed it. Yeah. Like, thanks, marketing campaign. I'd be pissed if the same people... By the way, Dread 3D is really great, but I hate those fucking marketers for that movie. Exactly. They undersold it so much. Oh, they did. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed the movie. I had really good um, jump scares, even though I hate jump scares. Like it had some really good scares and like some pretty decent jump scares. And, one, um, he didn't quite say it, but one thing I wrote down for a pro for me was that the atmosphere of the movie yeah. is awesome. Like you, you really feel. I felt like it was a really they put up a really good connection to where you feel like when he's walk. There's one point where he's like walking around the house. You feel like you're really there following with him, and it's just like, and at some points, like some points, he goes up in the attic, and it kind of really, they made it feel like a good confined type of attic where, you know, you're walking around and it's, you're going like this, and it's just, this atmosphere was excellent. Yeah. Um, out of like five, maybe out of ten would be easier. Out of ten, I'll probably give like an eight out of ten. Um, uh, I'll give it about a seven. Probably, uh, seven's good yeah. enough, because, I mean, like we said, it's got its cons, but, albeit, it was still pretty good. So, seven for me, and eight like for Corey. Like an eight, just because I had fun, it was one of the... I had a lot of fun. I had fun. I had um, a lot of fun. It was one of the best horror movies to come out this year, other than VHS, mm -hmm. you know. And we'll count in the woods wasn't... We'll pretty. count... I think we'll count Sinister as being one of the better horror movies that have been released in 2012 I mean, so far. House on the End of the Street, really... The apparition, seriously. Don't talk about this. No, <laughs> just saying. Yeah. Oh. But that's our review for Sinister. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you around.